the Wolf Quest guys, it is I, Aaron the Wolf Quester. Today I will introduce you to this almighty book, Skullgery Pleasant, Dark Days. It is the book four. So this book is like always about our beloved skeleton detective, Skullgery Pleasant, and his, his sidekick slash apprentice slash annoying girl, Valkyrie King. So, as you can remember from last time, Skullgery Skull Pleasant number three, the faceless ones, um, Skullgery Pleasant was sucked into an interdimensional portal that forced him into a place where the faceless ones would, would probably drive him insane. And Valkyrie believed in him and, and, and is saying that she will find Skullgery's head, his old skull, his um other his real skull was taken from him by um little goblin thingies and the skull that he's wearing is actually a fake. It's a replacement. Actually I can't realize if that's the new one that he got from Valkyrie or the one that she used to wear because you know little goblin thingies took it. And yeah, it's really confusing, I know. But here's the thing. Skullgery's skull can um, kind of link itself to Skullgery and bring him back through the portal. And but and Valkyrie's about to take the risk of letting a faceless one loose in their world. How they're going to do it? They have to find Skull first. Kenneth Lau and Ghastly is ha assisting her in this. And soon enough, following her clues, going into conclusions, and finally finding the skull. Um, with a, a lot of really bad things. Also, getting that included getting arrested by the sanctuary. Read the book for the details. And yeah, it's a really bad day for her. Mm. So, she is... Well, she's getting, so she got back Skullgery as simple as that. But there is a new club coming on, or as uh, some person calls it, Bridgeade. So, he's coming. A bad guys, the Revengers Club, they call them. Dusk, the vampire that, as you could say, has a little grudge on Valkyrie King. And many, about three people, wants to kill Valkyrie King in the Revengers Club. And the leader is Scarab, the father of Sanguine. And yeah, oh no no. And they want to follow, find a detonation engine. It's um a kind of bomb that just turns everything, nothing, not even a boom, into dust within its radius. And it's a heck, it's a very, very dangerous weapon. And and they got their hands on him. And they got the person who's the only one available to fix it. Which is rather ironic, isn't it? But Professor Grouse, expert at science magic, doesn't even want to do it. But he's forced to when a rement goes inside of him. And, you know, it has his memories. A rement is kind of a... a I would call it a spirit that well, goes inside a person's body and controls his memories and all that icky stuff. But in the nick of time, they're gone out and Skulder, Pleasant, and Valkyrie Kane won again. But at the last part, a deadly thing does. Three Guild, the, the, grand, the, the, the grand Mage, got arrested because he was forced to um drop the detonation engine on on the football stage on the stadium where hundreds of people were watching a game and that's a serious crime so she she's now he's looking forward to a few hundred years in prison oh yeah oh yeah and yeah that's pretty much it i guess but i forgot one little thing at the last part, Skullgery Pleasant, you see, um, it was a trick. Uh, the English detective, Supreme Detective that replaced Skullgery, uh, Remus Crux, 
who replaced Skaldry Pleasant was a uh, rather evil, <laughs> as you can imagine. Davina Ma, her name was, and she had a itty bitty grudge against well Skaldry Pleasant. And Skaldry Pleasant saying it's got no reason to it because he didn't do anything to her. Well, we can't be too sure about that, you know. I mean, Skaldry is too sarcastic to be believed. And okay, to the to cut the long story short, he. He found out about a true name about Sanctuary Agent, the true name. You know what, a uh, true name can control a person, whatever, icky wicky. And the, the top, flat line. She made him drop the detonation engine in the Sanctuary, the Supreme Court of Justice of Magic. And uh, yeah, so they kind of lost. But they kind of won, and they saved hundreds of millions of people, but many people died. The usual stuff. And we're looking, and we're looking forward to a new threat. Dark Quest. Dun, dun, dun. And Valkyrie Kane. Valkyrie Kane. Well, um, uh, and the book ends with Valkyrie Kane remembering that her real name was Dark Quest. And that is really mysterious, and the book ends flat out. I mean, that author really has a knack of showing him, a, showing us a really intriguing story idea, and boom, done. Every one of his books are called cliffhangers. I mean, literally. And but I can't argue with that. They're really good books. And like always, the bookwester, I read the bookwester. Oh, got it. Go, my friends. Adios.